How about we turn an image into a 3D model like this? Sounds dope, right? See if you go online and look for any kind of models like sofas or characters, just like this one here, then download this image. Now the image might not come as the normal format JPEG or PNG, so just use the painter to make it that way if needed. The first site we will use is this one called Trellis, weird name, and the link to it is in the description. Anyway, here we can drop the image for the sofa. The AVIF don't work here. That's why I already switched that to PNG. Now, without making any changes to the settings, just hit Generate, and it will start turning this image into a 3D model. The process will take less than a minute. And keep in mind, it's better to go with an object on solid background. Once that's done, choose to extract it as a GLB file or as a Gaussian splat. We will go with a GLB file, so do that. And this process is just to pile all element with the textures in one model so you can download it. Here you go. We can now get this from the download button, then go to Blender and import the file normally. The colors are a bit off from the original, but that can be fixed to some sort with a simple hue saturation node since the textures are only one map. It's quite low poly, so not much details here, but still dope for background or printing work or anything in mind with not much focus on it. Another site to do this image to model thing more freely is this one. Not an English site, so just run the Chrome translator on the page, then log in with any extra Gmail you have, send the code, run back the code, Hit please, oh, accept of me, things you need to endure every time. Once that mess done, hit the big yellow button to go in, and here you will have two types of generating methods. The default is set to image to model. The Tusheng one, the Vincent, is for the prompts to model. So stay on the second one, run the image in the upload picture box, keep all settings the same, and hit generate. Now this site do take more time than the previous one, like five minutes. You also get 20 hits per day per account, which is more than enough to have fun for free. I did experience some heat while running this one, and the preview is a bit laggy, maybe from my connection. Anyway, just download the file once you're done, and let's compare that in Blender with the last one. The yellow one is the first site result, while the orange result is from the last one. The poly count is quite high in the last site, but it contains more details when you close up onto the models. It also has more maps to better control the model, where the first sofa has only one in the diffuse input. That's it. You can do characters, furniture, houses using this method, then print that in your microwave. Just kidding. Use the oven. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.